Hey friends, Melinda here of True Digital Marketing. I wanted to have a conversation with you today about something I saw on my personal Facebook page. So, you know, we share recipes and stuff, right? One of my Facebook friends was saying how annoyed they were that you always have to shift through a whole story, a whole life story, a whole the first time they ever had beef wellington story in order to get to the recipe. And because we're a digital marketing agency, I understand why that is. So even on the personal page, I'm telling my friends how it works. It made me realize how many people don't know how Google looks at web pages. Let's use the example of a beef wellington recipe, right? The reason that the person writes an entire life story about uh, beef wellingtons and the first time they ever saw it on a hot day and how their grandmama taught them how is because Google crawlers crawl websites every day to determine the relevancy, the freshness of the information that's being provided so they can provide the best, the newest, the freshest, the most relevant information to their end users. What that means is you gotta have so many words per page. And those words need to have so many of the keywords of what that person is searching for in the content, right? Now, Google has been telling us for about the past year that it's not so much about the quantity of the words on the page, but the quality of the words on the page. And that is true. You don't need a web page with thousands of words on it to explain what it is that you do. However, you can't have a page that only has 100 words on it because you haven't provided Google with enough information to determine whether or not you really talk about what you talk about. You know what I mean? Google wants to make sure that if you are providing the recipe for the Beef Wellington, that you know how to make that. And if they send someone over there, that they're going to get a good recipe that they can enjoy and that they'll come back to your site again. That's how Google determines how to show people on their algorithm for different things. True Digital, for example, we offer website design services. And so we often write blogs that are geared around different things that people ask us about website design services. If people are Googling those questions, we want to come up with the answers, right? When they search for the answers, we want our website to be the one that shows up. So we make sure that there are enough words on the page and that those words are used in different ways and different places so that Google knows this is what we do. I often get people who do not want all the words on their website. They often ask us to cut out rows and we're going to do what you want. It is your website in the end. But I do make sure that I have a good conversation with them about how the algorithms work and why it is important to have that information present if you're looking to pull people into your website. You don't always want to be pushing it out. At some point, you want people to find you. All right. I think that's enough for today. That was my explanation on why there are so many words per page and how Google uses that information to help websites to show up. You want to learn more about SEO? Interested in SEO for your business? Contact me www.truedigitalmktg.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye, friend.